Sister Nightingale says you must leave Kirkwall. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the Sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I am surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. Are you saying you will not flee? When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. Sister Nightingale took a great risk to warn you. Don't be rash. Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. If Althina won't leave Kirkwall, neither will I. I can't abandon her when the Divine's own agent warned her away. The Grand Cleric is lucky to have your loyalty. She'd be luckier were I willing to hit her over the head and carry her away. This isn't her battle. But if these Maleficarum rebel against the Knight Commander, Elthina will put herself between them and be torn apart. I must try to make her see reason. This cannot end well. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator, who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. Why would he give away his position? He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled Antivan leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? Tell me, is this one as adventurous as our dear warden? We could always ask. Ah, I do love an audience. But perhaps there are other matters to attend to first. Prude. How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? 
Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and, may I say, one fine specimen of manhood? You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, older men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I've been hired to find and capture you. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife? Butchered his parents? Sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? I suppose you aren't a murderer at all, then. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. You didn't tell me the assassin you wanted captured was once one of your own. Ah, uh, so Zevron told you, did he? It really doesn't matter. This time, his warden isn't here to protect him. I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Why didn't you go when you had the chance? To see the champion of Kirkwall in action? You couldn't keep me away. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here! Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? Ah, Isabella, I did so miss you. That's because you have piss-poor aim. Thankfully, you have other uses. Ha! <laughs> Are we sure he was part of a guild of assassins? The old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, my boy sees things sometimes, says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well, there you go. Now that I'm living here, there isn't room for you in the bed. Do you understand? <coughs> that won't work on me. I'm a cat person. Cheer up, old boy. Maybe you can bunk with Sandal. Enchantment! Uh, uh, uh. 
Well, look who it is. You. The you. If you don't mind, I could do with a significant reduction in the amount of attention this office receives. A visit from the champion is something of the opposite. Everyone else seems to want me on their side. I am not everyone else. I am the Seneschal. A position that does not traditionally endure Sans Viscount. Now I'm trapped under Templar scrutiny, waiting for them to note how easily I might be replaced. And it isn't going well? It is not going well. I can apply influence in many ways, you know. Do the words political maelstrom mean anything to you? The Templars are particularly sensitive about destabilizing elements, especially after what happened to Dumas. The Arashok killed the Viscount, but he's no longer a problem. There are older hatreds that the Templars feel deserve more central focus. Sometimes I wonder if we're at war with ourselves. There is no one to carry the last Viscount's line. You presided over Seamus's death. That was the sad end of the Dumas. When a line is judged unfit or ends, we appoint from Kirkwall's elite. Or we would, if the situation was normal. But it is not. Who nominates a new Viscount? A consensus of the nobility, normally, and a willing nominee. Both are lacking, and I can't fault it. These are difficult times. Could I nominate someone? Or do it myself? Anyone who thinks to take this office needs more than popular support. They need particular support. You are many things, champion, but not this. Not yet, anyway. Since when are city leaders appointed by the Knight Commander? Meredith would not openly declare a preference. The rule of Kirkwall is deliberately separate from the Chantry's will. But the Order embodies security in Kirkwall, and they want the new Viscount to be more accepting of oversight. Anyone who wants to rule Kirkwall needs support from the Templars. That is the new truth of this city. What happens if they don't like the choice? Do you know how Viscount Dumas' predecessor Perrin Threnhold left office? He was a tyrant, certainly. But his rule was not ended until he actively sought to expel the Templars. The good of all is inexorably tied to what is good for the Templars. I'll leave you to it. But I'm easy to find if you need me. Good. Thank you. My door is always closed. Is everything all right? Guess what? Castillon's in town, and I'm not waiting around for him to stick a knife in my vitals. We're going to get him before he gets me. We're going to surprise Castillon. I love surprises. Unfortunately, Castillon's holed up somewhere in Kirkwall. I haven't been able to find him. I do know where Velasco is, however. That's his right hand. We just have to make him tell us where Castillon is. Somehow. What a plan. Your scheming ability puts me to shame. Well, I haven't worked out all the kinks. Step one, we go to Velasco. Step two, something exciting happens. Step three, profit. Well, do you have a better idea? If we kill him and search his body, we might find something. Or we could find nothing and get nowhere. We could hit him till he talks. You'll just end up killing him. Couldn't we just ask Velasco where Castillon is? Nicely. He's not going to reveal anything willingly. I can't risk him getting suspicious and alerting Castillon. Castillon wants you. Why not let Velasco bring you to him? And you follow me? Ooh, that's clever. I was going to suggest challenging Velasco to a riddle game and making Where's Your Boss one of the riddles. This is so much better. I'm ready whenever you are. Velasco's been spending his nights at the brothel, enjoying its many splendors. That's where we'll find him. That's his room over there. Are you ready? 
Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. I don't know if I can pull this off. Come on. Haven't you ever wanted to slap me? Just a little? Yes. Yes. I wasn't asking you people. Face it, you set yourself up for that one. Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. What? Get back here, you... Skittish bitch. I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I have a present for Castillon. Present for... What? You should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Remember that time you ran off with the Tome of Coslin? This is like that. Only funnier. <coughs> you backstabbing little shit. You'd better start sleeping with one eye open. Castillo will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillo to go easy on you. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the bitch was up to something! Kill them! Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship. And your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. What happened to getting rid of Castillon? I am getting rid of him through peaceful means. Coming from here, that's priceless. I saw the ship docked in the harbor, Castillon. She is splendid. I want her. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. Castillon dies here today, if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Enough with the blackmail, then. Let's settle this like civilized people. Wait! Oh, Now what am I supposed to do with these useless documents? After all we've been through together, how could you do that to me? Think about it. You know he didn't deserve to walk. <sighs> no, he didn't. I really hate it when you're right. Here, boy. Have something to wet your teeth on? Freshly confiscated mutton, just for you. Have at it. Just checking on my best guardsman. He's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. 
I've had my fill for today. Then heed us, fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. It really is you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while Mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... Fenris, we have to get out of here. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris. Don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new master, then? The champion of Kirkwall? Impressive. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys! <sighs> the word is master. You are no longer my master. I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait. Don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? This is your family, Fenris. Elf... Fenris. I know how hard this is to believe, but this is the last thing you want to do. Get out! You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. You have friends. Yes, a mage is my only friend. Hey now, you could do worse. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean. Like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. Well, woof to you too. A rough. Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they?
I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Back to the merchant's life, I suppose. It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake, but I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandal's future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. If you're worried about Sandal, I can help him out. Oh, well, that's mighty kind of you, but it's unnecessary. My boy's been offered a position in Orlay. It seems the Empress herself found one of his enchantments and is intrigued. Can you imagine? Us in the Imperial Court. Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go. I worry about you, Messire. Master Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel? Well, put me in a dress and call me a Templar. How is the old boy doing? He's missing, Sirrah. Haven't you been listening? I'm not worried about Nathaniel. He's crawled out of worse places alive. I take it you and Nathaniel have some history? Certainly. We were in the Wardens together in Amaranthine. Hordes of Darkspawn, psychotic brood mothers, usual Warden business. I wonder if Nathaniel ever found a sense of humor. Why were Wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible has happened. I'd tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep... My poor brother... Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the deep roads. Find my brother. You must. Nathaniel Howe. You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? And... Anders! Making friends as always, I see. There's no escaping you, it seems. I'm special that way. That's one way to put it. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the deep roads than anyone believed possible. The First Warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any... curiosity. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the Warden Commander killed the Architect, we thought it would be decades before the Deep Roads would be infested again. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear. But it seems they were wrong. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Taig. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Varric was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Taig. As much as I enjoy the company, is there anything keeping us in these Darkspawn-infested tunnels? I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live.
We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Master How, you live. Tamarin, good man. Are there any other survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met are strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. How did you manage to get Kunari explosives? These aren't Kunari explosives. They're dwarven made, and don't you forget it. Temerin's cousin Dworkin made the explosives back in Vigil's keep. Aye, and that he did. Before the sudden Kunari forced him into hiding. What were you doing with these explosives? We were prepared to do extensive excavations around the Taig you found. A few well-placed booms prove most efficacious at clearing rubble. These explosives could kill a great many Darkspawn. Temerin, the way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. Carver? Well, just like old times. Still coming to the rescue after all these years. I have it under control. But thanks. You know each other. He is my brother. It's good to see you. I hope the years have been kind. I can't say that. The blight is long over. But the threat never really goes away. I don't know if you can understand that. Maybe someday. We don't have time for this. The Darkspawn approach. For the first time since I've been down here, I don't sense a single Darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well. You there. Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? I come at your father's request. You expected someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Champion? It's Leah. Do you remember me? You saved me from that murderer when I was a kid. Sorry, Captain. I don't mean to. Not at all. Go on. I wanted to say thank you. I wasn't thinking straight the day you saved me. That monster deserved what he got. Captain? Dismissed. She joined the guard a few months back. She's got a good understanding of what we're up against. Come on, Daisy. You've been holed up in here for days. If you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air, and I'll stop bothering you. I... know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. Varric is... very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? Nothing's the matter. I thought I'd see how you were doing. Checking up on me? I suppose you think I might summon an army of demons at any moment. In the market the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. 
I miss them all. Even the Keeper. I'm sure the Keeper would like to see you again. I'm sure she would. She loves to lecture. I bet her new first appreciates that. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit?